are picking up the sticks episode 107 sticks gaming podcast reunited and it feels so good four months we've been apart right we just we just started four months we have we have been doing this uh, whole like social distancing <laughs> thing but we just uh no, we had to get together can i get a lysol wipe from my arm now yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna be like the NBA player and just gonna start talking yeah. all this stuff. But more on that what was, was, what was it? who's the guy from the Pacers? Oh god, that's blown no, the Oh, oh. <laughs> no, the, the guy he plays for the Jazz. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Mike Kernet. To my right is Mike Steak Kernet. What's going on? To my left, Art. I can't keep six feet away from you, Rosian. I mean, you could try. I, I, I can't. I, I have tried, and here we are. <laughs> so. It's we long, had long four months. It's been long four months, <laughs> long couple of weeks too, because I yeah, was out of town. It's been a while. This guy moved, and I don't know. We just got a lot of stuff going on. So it's I've been, been like here. a few weeks. <laughs> He's doing nothing. <laughs> it's been a few Three weeks. Three and a half. Right. I said we're like two, <clears throat> two weeks over. That's all right. So I'm thinking that really the biggest thing that's happened since then is Last of Us Part Two came out. Yep. Well, I've been playing it. Yep. Nope. Oh, two out of three. Two out of three. It, it came. That's it came threat. out. Yeah. And then I moved like four days later. One hundred percent. I'm like, there's no point starting yeah. this. I got. I came out on that Friday. I left for my vacation on that Saturday. Came back that next Thursday, and I played a bunch of it. Um, I, don't know, I think that'd probably be our main thing we're talking about today, right? Later on, probably. Probably. All right. Yeah. We'll we'll say that for later. Yeah. So it's nice to be back. It's nice to be back in 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 this in this chair talking to you guys. So the virtual thing was fun, but this is. The way it's you know God intended. It's nice not to have to worry about that technical difficulties. You know that, yeah. that that's a whole other technical difficulty yeah. world. <laughs> my stuff worked fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, sure. I was. My, it was always my stuff. <laughs> it was, but um, let's kick this. Uh, let's get this off. Steak, which plane? All Outside right. of the Last of Us. All right, so I'll skip that <clears> one. <throat> um, so I picked up uh, on the somewhat cheap Man Eater. Oh which yeah, is the, the shark, shark game. simulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, game's a lot of fun. Uh, it's hard. Okay. It's hard, really hard at first. What do you do in this game? You're a shark. Okay. <laughs> and you... <laughs> That's a better pitch. I got, I got a game idea. Oh, yeah, what is it? You're a shark. shark. You're a shark. So, it is a shark RPG. Okay. So, you start off as a baby shark, and you... Don't sing. Don't sing the song. <laughs> don't don't right do to. it. Don't do it. Um, I was getting ready to. Thankfully, this, that song's not in there. And it's kind of had like this like television. Like think of this like wild hunting television show that you would see on like A and E or something. Okay. Kind of like like ridiculous like overtone. That's kind of like. The Is there an right? Australian commentator? Was he Australian? I can't remember. He's like the, he's there like, is a commentator though that like with a foreign accent. I don't know if it's a four. I can't remember. It was, this was a few weeks ago I was playing this. Um, but uh, I can't remember exactly if there was one or not. But, like, the guy but like the guy that's, like, the, the like the main hunter kind of reminds me of, like, uh, who was that that made that popular bounty hunter? Oh, Dog? Dog, Dog. Oh. yeah. Like, like, just, like, just like so over the top uh, and ridiculous. Uh, we, both, like that. we both knew Does that. Does he have a terrible <laughs> mullet? I think, actually, I think he does. I think he's got a. Oh, the, it's, I think it's been, it's hidden by a hat, the, but I the, think it does come out. If does I he have a terrible mullet? And it turns out he's a racist who <laughs> uses religion to cover how much of a terrible person he actually is. I haven't gotten that far, but I have a feeling that is where it's going. Okay. Uh, that's, that's when that's when it gets, that's when the shark really wants to get it. Right. Um, so so yeah so you, I mean so you <clears> gain experience points for like everything you eat okay. and everything and there's different things you can do like I mean like you can grab like a bigger enemy you get it into your jaw and then you like jerk the uh, stick back and forth and you actually like, go like this <laughs> and like rip them apart and stuff. It's like, it's pretty neat actually. Um, the only problem is like, so when you get into the first area then there's like these alligators and you're a level two and the alligators are level eight and they're like, you hit a certain area, they see you, they're chasing you and they don't leave you alone for a while. Really? You like, really takes a while to get like, to kind of lose them. And like, I've died quite a few times. Hmm. Like, so you kind of got to like, you really need to like grind basically and like level up your, your shark because as you level up, you get you grow older too. Okay. And stuff. So like, I think right now I have a teenage shark. I think I, okay. that's where I'm at right now. Um, I don't think there's a song for that. <laughs> and there's like oh, a, is there an actual license for that song, or is it just like a thing that the, <laughs> that the world owns now? Like I don't no, know. I think so. I'm pretty sure it's owned by the people who made it. I don't know. Like, is it like, I don't even know how that started. It was like a YouTube thing. I don't know. I, I think, think it was a YouTube thing. That's yeah, stupid. Yeah. Um. So, but there's like, but there's, there's skill trees and stuff okay. like that. So like, and like, and there's, 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 uh, you can equip 
different things and stuff like so laser it's beams. An it's an you have sharks arsenal. with freaking oh. laser He's beams. Like, I couldn't oh, get it out of my face fast enough. I know. Fast I know. Um, so like, it, it, so yeah. So I mean, I it's it's really interesting. Okay, like, cool. It's totally like one of those games where it's like, like I have a feeling. I think my buddy. Like got all thousand achievement points in like 12, 14 hours or something like that. So it's nothing like crazy, but it's one of those games where it's like, eh, I got no, you know, I don't know what to play right now. I'm gonna throw that on for a little while and then yeah. just play it and then come back to it later. Because like I said, I haven't touched it in a while because I've been playing some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, but it is one of those things where I can totally be like, just like I don't know what I want to play right now. I'll just pop that in for like an hour or like you know, you got a little time before bed or whatever. Nice. So it's neat. If you find it for cheap, I recommend it. Like I said, I think I get it for like twenty five bucks. I think it's normally forty. I got it for twenty five. So, that, so that feels like a Black Friday special. Oh, coming up. for sure. It, I, I have a feeling it's gonna be like. I think it'll be like around fifteen come Black Friday. That'll be perfect. Uh, I was very lucky to get my hands on Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, good for you. Uh, so while it was being restocked and everything. Uh, Sorry, I shoved that one day. You were all sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was. I was right after my, right as I was finishing. So it was perfect timing on your part. Uh, <laughs> I should have just snapped a picture and left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as I said, it is sweaty. <laughs> you get quite sweaty play, especially if you're doing it. Because obviously, you know, it's like any other. If you're playing for keeps, you get sweaty. Yeah. I just want that to be the back of the box quote. It's sweaty. Yeah. The sticks. <laughs> I mean, it's like anything else. Like you can mimic these like movements and stuff like that. But the whole point is to do what they're showing you and how to do it. And it's, it is like a, like a, like a fitness type game. Um, there's a story mode, which is what I've been doing. So it's really cool because, like, as you go through the story mode, so you're jogging through these levels, and then you're doing different things. So you have the, the ring, you got the tension ring. So there's times where you have to press it to like destroy blocks, okay. or you might see like rings over here. So you actually pull it apart to suck the rings in. Okay. Stuff. So like it, it, the coin, and then the coins later on, you find out help you buy like smoothies and stuff, which actually help regain hearts and stuff during battles because you do come across random battles okay. while you're in adventure mode. And this is where like the real big fitness stuff comes in. So when you're in the battles, your attack is a fitness Burpees. move. <laughs> oh, just kill me now. <laughs> so like like squats. Yeah. So squats will be you. So every time you complete a squat, you do some type of hit points against the enemy and stuff okay. like that. And then eventually you unlock color mode where if the enemy is, is purple... Squats a purple. If you do that, it'll do more damage than if you were to do a red. So it's like, an, it's like an elemental type thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Cool. Um, so it's really neat. It's, uh, it's, yes. The mechanic that got me to stop playing Guacamelee. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That game's so good. I never tried the second one with the colorblind options. You should. Yeah, it's it's I'm pretty sure good. I have it somewhere. It's very, very good. That's one of those things that I think has been free everywhere at least once. Like in every somewhere, platform has ever yeah, been on, yeah. it's been free. Well, Except the first for one for sure. I don't know about oh, yeah, the second, second one. I don't know about the second one's been free yet. Um. But it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm glad I got my hands on it. Uh, it's really, really neat. I, I need to get back to it, but it's um, it's it's really cool. Uh, so then I started, of course, I did. I, I forgot it's the 20th anniversary of it, anyways. But I started my next my another playthrough of Final Fantasy IX. Um, so this has been kind of my in between game when I've been playing Last of Us. So I, Last of Us Two for me has been a headset on at night game. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm not nearly as far as I would like to be mm -hmm. because that's the only time I've been playing it. Because okay. just the way the game is, the way it works, like I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about the baby waking up from a nap or something like that. It's like no, okay, he's out for the night. Cool, put my headset on and I'm playing this like at night. So, but during the day, like if I get some time uh, during my lunchtime to get a little bit of a break, I I'll I'll pop on. Final Fantasy IX for a little while, so that's been that my game there. But I, I am pretty far in it, um, so I'm in the death second disc. Like I think I just hit like the 14 hour mark or whatever. Um, I didn't know there was a second. Wait, oh, you're talking about Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy IX. Okay, I was like, Final there's Fantasy a second IX. disc oh, of, no, no, of no, Last no, of no, Us. No, like, oh no, my no, god, I'm no, nowhere near no, the well, end. Yes, there just is. The <laughs> well, I know. That's what I was just yeah. like, I gotta switch discs. <laughs> right? No, 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 no. So Final Fantasy IX. Next gen needs to hurry up and get here. I'm tired of this two disc shit. I want to buy a new game. My last two games, I'm playing both at them. Yeah, Red Dead Head and Yep. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, Final that, that Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so yeah, so it's Final Fantasy Nine. Yeah. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying <laughs> it. Although I'm very upset as Art saw on Twitter. I, saw I it too. totally messed up. Uh, like there's so there's the, so there's the active time events where you view certain things, but sometimes you have to do them in a certain order to see all of them. Okay. Or one of them won't pop up if you don't do it in a certain order. Well, I was I have two different walkthroughs up because I've noticed that my achievement walkthrough has stuff. But then 
this has some of the side stuff that makes some of that other stuff easier that that okay. didn't mention. So okay. I've been going back and forth between the two. And this one's like, no, no, no. You have to go here first or you're going to lose that opportunity. I'm like, oh, crap. Okay, that's not mentioning it here. So I got to go do that. But by doing that, by skip, skipping a, a screw, one screen, that messed up. Ooh, Ooh, that messed all of it up. Like from seeing that, from seeing another, and you have to see every, you have to see all seventy nine active time events in one playthrough. Yikes! So now I'm gonna probably finish with seventy eight instead of seventy nine because of that one. That's brutal. And it's like I'm already thirty. I was like, I, it, again, yeah, whatever. Say, yeah. It's an achievement. I'm not gonna start over. Obviously, I'm already. 13, I said like when I was in. playing through Final Fantasy seven. I, I didn't get the uh, Barrett to go on a date with you. I'm like, oh, yeah. I have thirty save files. <laughs> I don't know where I went wrong. I'm not going back <laughs> doing this again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So screw it. Oh well. Um. Uh. What else? Uh, Iron Man VR. I have <gasps> just started. Okay. Um. So I've only played through the prologue, which has more than the demo had. Okay. So the demos. It, so there, uh, there's something after the tutorial. Okay. Um. And then I played through chapter one, which was the same exact thing as the demo, the plane mission. Okay. And then I played through chapter two as well. All right. Cool. Um. So so far, pretty cool. I like the story a lot. Um. I. F- <sighs> I feel like the controls are not as responsive as the demo, the demo was. Really, I don't know if it's me doing something, hmm. but like I, I was kind of having troubles like going forward, hmm. like with like because you know how like you have, you press the button down and you kind of hold your palms back to right. go to go forward. Sometimes I would. Sometimes I was having a lot of troubles doing it. Hmm. Like I would go, like I would start moving, and then all of a sudden, like I wouldn't even move my hands. All of a sudden, I start going down, and I'm like. What's going on? And you're like, you know how it was? I don't remember from the... Like, I actually discovered this, um, not in the demo, but in the, in the beginning of this, when I was doing the tutorial again. Mm. If you look up, you'll move up, kind of. Like, you don't have to, like, actually, like, oh, move okay. your palms. But if you look up, you can keep moving with your speed. You're moving, but you'll move up. Well, one time I was like, I didn't move. I was going like this to move up, to go up uh, above something. And all of a sudden I started dropping. And I'm like, what's going on? And I'm like, I didn't move. Like, yeah. My hands are still. It was working at first. And all of a sudden, Weird. I don't know. So I don't know. I don't know. I was having some weird responsive stuff going on there. And there is a ton of loading. Like it really? kind of is taking me out of the, it kind of mm. takes you out of the action a bit. Like. Doesn't sound good for VR. No. Just, like just the whole the thing, thing is the experience. Here's the thing, Cause here's the problem. The, the, I only played this for one night and that's why I only got through chapter two because my legs were tired. Cause I was standing there some of the times. Just waiting. Just waiting <laughs> for stuff to load. Um, I don't remember, but in the demo, when when you're when you're in the plane area, yes. when the helmet comes to you yes. and comes on you, was there a load screen in between, or was it pretty much seamless? It was pretty much seamless. I feel like it? It, I, there was like there, a, maybe a slight pause, but there wasn't like an actual loading screen with like a percentage. Yeah, I don't think so. No, there is in this version in the weird. in the retail version. So I don't know that that just seemed weird. I, yeah. that, I don't remember that. So there's so that's kind of weird. Um, but I'm like I'm enjoying it still. Like uh, the story's cool. Uh, kind of like with with you get a good. Uh, you get a better view, uh, feel for the story in the prologue. Okay. Um, after the t- tutorial thing, um, I still really suck at the flight stuff. Like um. my time is not even near <laughs> their time at all. Uh, but it's interesting. Uh, so I'm looking forward to try to really diving back into that though. Uh, and then finally, since we'll talk about SOS two later, uh, I finished the last of us. Oh yes, very good. Um, so so I finally plowed through it. I stuck to it. Like I said, the story was always good. Really, really good. The game really, uh, to be completely honest, the game really didn't get me. And spoiler alert, so below, but spoiler <laughs> alert, um, really didn't get me until when you um, were going against David in the uh, in the in the restaurant as it was burning down. And, oh yeah, like and then you just annihilate David. Ellie just annihilates yeah. David. Like that was awesome. I'm yeah. like, all right, I'm in. <laughs> like when that when that happened, I'm like, all right. Like it finally got to like it got to like there was stuff that happened to be before then. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, all right, this is helping. Let, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. But when I hit when I had that happen, I was like, all right, I need Last of Us Two now. Like I'm ready for Last of Very Us cool. Two. So yeah, but no. So I'm glad I I ended up enjoying. It. And then I played the Left Behind. All right, DLC cool. As well. I was gonna ask you yes. that too. And that was awesome. There was a lot of that. My what I love about. So I played them way separately. So I got the the, the, the left behind play way separately. But I, what I loved about that was just like the focus on trying to get like the infected 
and like kind of like flow them into the other bad guys, like with like rocks, right. or like stuff. So you're you're like using you're weaponizing like the the it infected people in there against because it's so against the other people that were trying to capture. I think right. if, if memory serves, then that was like you really didn't do that in the in the normal game mm-hmm. too much. Like more, it was more like you know you would it was like you either had infected or you had people. Like right. you, you barely you very rarely fought them both at the same time. Right. Yeah, no, that was no, I agree, and that was that was that part was really cool. But it also, I thought the DLC was super hard. It was. Like, I thought it was like I was playing it easy, and I thought it was hard. Mm-hmm. Like because it was just like because then once I finally was like, oh, well, yeah, they're infected. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like it kind of triggered. I was like, okay, well, that helped a little bit, but mm-hmm. it was still diff- it was mm-hmm. still quite difficult because like every time I thought I was like, oh, cool, I'm done. Oh, here comes another yeah. ambush. <laughs> Crap! Like like that whole last that very final yes, ambush that was, took me a while. That, to I remember get that through. taking me a while. Oh too. my god. But, but it was very cool to get this story, to see this story. Um, and now it's like, okay, now I got to, now I didn't understand why people were so upset during the last of us E3 reveal when they should, when, they, when Ellie kissed the girl, because like everyone was like, well, what the, what, what's going on? Right. What the hell? Because if you played the DLC, you knew like, 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 you know, obviously they didn't hint at that at all. Like in the, in the first, in like the regular right. story of last of us, right. but in the DLC, I mean, it was, I'm mean, so if I guess if you didn't play the DLC, you didn't know, but if you like the game, you I was thinking you you play the yeah. DLC, right. but like if you play the DLC, then you then you knew like that was coming. So yeah. like so like to, for, for me, I was like, oh wow, like everyone's very shocked. Like okay, that well that seems weird that they would just just randomly do this. That's kind of odd. But now that I've played like Left Behind, I'm like, okay, well yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I I get it. But like and it's we funny. told you what was going on. Well, right? it's funny because even before the scene where, where she kisses, um, what's the what's the girl's name? The, mm. from the, oh, wait, Nora's a bad girl. Oh, oh yeah. She, yeah, she was flat. She yeah, fire flat. No idea. Oh, I can't think. That's gonna drive me nuts. I gotta look it up. Um, but when she, but when she, but before be, even before like before that like the way they were like interacting and everything I, like I kind of already was starting to get that vibe and then when she kissed her I was like oh, okay yeah okay that makes sense I was like oh well then okay Dina. I get was it Dina? Well no that's the new one. Oh, oh, oh the old one. I'm talking about the. Oh, oh, I, have, I have no oh, idea. Okay, what oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm talking about from left behind. I have the no first idea. One. I'm on it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, yeah. When they were going through the together, uh, the la- the left behind before, yeah. Um, but yeah, she. But it's like, oh, okay. When that happened, I was like, oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, like, right. Everyone, how did you not know this? Right. Like, <laughs> like if, I mean, obviously. And why does it matter anyway? But either well, way, that's... sure. But it was just one of those things where I was just like, oh, okay, cool. Well, there right. it is. Like that's that that basically confirmed before this. So. Riley. 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 Yes, that was it. Yes. Damn it. So. But no, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed that Left Behind DLC. I, I thought I, I at first I wasn't sure if I was going to go through it because I was kind of cutting it close to the left of Last of Us Two. But I'm, my but my one buddy Fred told me he's like, dude, he's like he's like it's like two hours. I was yeah. like, all right. I was like, I'll, I'll just blow through it tonight then. And I was I'm so glad I did though. Yeah. What do you think about the ending without spoiling it? Because you said you said you got you got the end of Last of Us without it being spoiled for you. Yes. So I mean, did you were you like yes. holy crap? Yeah. Or were you like okay? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, wow. I was like, all right. I was like, I get what Joel's doing, but wow, like that sucks. Like this, like there, there, there should never have been a Last of Us two. I said, there's no, I, I, I like, was, there should be no sequel. I, fuck, I want to talk. I, I have some. I was something about Last of Us two. I want to talk about, but like, no, I'm not going. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. But just like, do I need to leave during? No, this no, 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 no. I'll be good. I'll be good. But um, at the end of the Last of Us, like you know the. You know, Joel and Ellie had a conversation, and Joel kind of you know gives her that you know a lie, yeah. And Ellie just goes, "Okay, fade to black," and that was it. Like, it that was the end of the game, right? And just like, see, and that, oh my god, that was crazy because I, I was like, wait a minute, like I was like, okay, I I knew the end was coming, mm-hmm. but I'm like, that's it, like, yeah, that, right, like, yeah. Like, like the credits are rolling, like there's like no nothing, like okay, like, yeah, like there's no boss, there's no like ridiculous bloater or whatever yeah. like i'm like are you kidding me like okay. it, 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 i it mean was... the, the, the boss is the gauntlet you have to yeah. go through to get to the end well sure right. yes exactly i mean the, Where, uh, hosp- the hospital yeah, that, yeah. the whole firefly like and that was just insane. The, the gauntlet with you know fully automatic weapons when yes. you've been working with a shotgun a pistol and some bricks <laughs> right no and i i i, I agree maybe a bottle you. like yeah no and i i definitely agree with that but uh but yeah but it was just but i'm not used it's very rare for a game to like to be like that though. Like like that's like the end. Like, yeah, it, it, it felt like a movie. It felt like right. the, like the end of Inception or something. Right. I was just like, oh, no, there has to be more. Did the top <laughs> drop or not? Yeah, right. It was just like, <laughs> like it was it was just it was just so beautifully done. And mm-hmm. like I I wanted them to do one of two things: either be like go completely off the beaten path and just like 
no Joel or Ellie in number part two and just have completely like in the same world, but just completely different area. Cause the, I mean, the whole world's infected with this well, stuff. Right, so like, right. you there are stories done, happening you everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Or just be like, you, know, you start the, you start the story with okay, and then f- fade into the story, and like right. you start right from there. Right. But I can get neither one of those. But I'm still being happy. Yeah. We'll talk more about that later. Um, what are you saying? If now? they if they did a, you know in the Last of Us world, but you're different people in a different part of the world, people would have been fucking livid. <sighs> I have so much to say that I can't right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even know what you want to say with that. I think a little so, bit. I'll, uh, yeah, but but no, yeah, and I I agree with you though. I think I I I agree with you if they if they like, did like not they, bring they, back they, Ellie if they sat there and said like. You know, we're showing you a new game. Here's The Last of Us 2, and they show you all the lead up information they put out before this game, and you don't see Ellie or Joel anywhere. Uh, people, God, yeah, so yeah. Much. People would speak into this microphone right now. People, people would have snapped. Yeah. People would have snapped. Absolutely. People snap anyway. Well, yeah. yeah. So, anyway. All right. Is that your plan? Yeah. Art. <laughs> yeah, we can move play. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know, right? <laughs> Mine's not very long either, so <laughs> uh, not a whole lot. Either, so ah, good to be back. Uh, <laughs> more Rainbow Six. There's a new season. There's new operators. There's a battle pass. Cool. I'm four operators behind since last time I played. I think. Um, <laughs> the operators that they put in this season are actually useful. Oh. Uh, I think the ones that I don't know, who they do last season. Kool Aid Man and Trickster Lady. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're fine. Um. And then on Sunday, are we gonna get confirmation about next gen for that? Do you think from the Ubisoft oh, uh, yes, conference? I mean, yeah, they need to. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be su- Sunday, but they need to say what they're doing with it. Yeah. And if they say I have to spend sixty bucks on that game again, I'm <laughs> the twelfth time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's if it's a, one. So okay, one big part of it is don't have to spend sixty bucks again, mm. or se- well, seventy bucks, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wait, we gotta talk about that too. Yeah. And the other thing is, so there's a problem i guess it's not a, it could just be a way for ubisoft to generate more revenue but as it is right now you cannot transfer any content you've unlocked between platforms so okay. i have you know i put done all myself on ps4 if i want to go play on xbox i'm starting from scratch Ugh, all my terrible. operators that's are awful. locked all the skins i have are yeah, locked ugh. like I, all that's the garbage. all the currency i have is not transfer over right. so you have no reason to switch right um it's more. It's usually more a problem for people going from console to PC. It sounds like sure, but even going from PlayStation to Xbox doesn't carry over. So, number one, I might have to buy the game again. Number two, is my stuff going to transfer over if I do play on new? It's on, gotta, I would think so it's, too. It's gotta, I, I would to. think it has to at least like parallel to. transfer. So like Sony yes. to Sony, Microsoft to Microsoft. Yes. yes. Um. I mean, it's it would been be four it, years. Well, right. Of progress would be like ah. I mean, this would be the perfect opportunity to make the whole cross. Uh, everything good, but sure yeah. but I agree with you let's, that it, it at least it let's at keep least PC away from console. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's fine. But I mean, but at least between console, maybe right. Or whatever. Yeah. But, but but I agree. I it needs to at least be Sony, Sony, right? Microsoft, Microsoft. Um. So yeah, there's that. They're you know, they're still doing stuff with that game. Um. The other thing with moving, I've set up my in my old house. I had my basement, which was my sanctuary. The kid wasn't allowed down there because there was wires everywhere. If he pulled the wrong one, I'd kick, <laughs> punt him across the basement. <laughs> Very bad. Um, well, now the kid's toys are down behind the couch in the basement where my games are, so I have to find games I can play with the child in the room. So I've been playing Madden again. <laughs> it's, ah. it's still Madden. Yeah. That's yeah. all I can say about it. Oh. oh. Thank you for saying Madden. So <laughs> Boom. I was, you know, I, I've been missing sports so much, so I, was, yeah. I did a thing where I, I picked, you know, I think I picked the Dolphins. And I'm just doing straight, like, I'm not playing any of the games. I'm just doing GM stuff and win, lose, whatever it is. Sure. And I am 99.9% sure that no matter what I do with my team, I'm going to have the same exact record that this year's Dolphins would have had. <laughs> because they're like, they're like, all right, the Dol- I don't think they change it. Because I have, like, a 92 offense, a 95 defense. Yeah. And I'm still going, like, I win, like, two or three games a year. <laughs> Did you fantasy draft it? No. You traded and get a ninety-two offense? Yes, it, it, like this. I'm like four, four or five years in. Oh, okay. okay. So like a lot of first-round picks, a little maneuvering, yeah. and, you know, yeah, okay. whatever. Okay. But like, okay. Right. So I'm just like, so if I, if I actually simulate the game and watch it, my games are my guys are awesome. If I simulate the game and don't watch it, I lose every game by a That's lot. That's so weird. So I really think That's that it's predetermined based on like <laughs> Hollywood on the original. 
Because like teams that I know have gone, like you know, Tom Brady's gone, and all these right. people are gone in, in right. this in this year and this stuff, and and the Patriots still like blowing everybody up, and all these all these teams are supposed to be good are blowing everybody up, <laughs> like. <laughs> so it's kind of funny you say that because so the one I'm doing a franchise is a fantasy draft. Mm-hmm. I don't know who else they have on their team, but the Patriots have Cam Newton as their quarterback. Weird. No. <laughs> Foreshadow. Who is leading the NFL in passing? Has far more passing touchdowns than anyone else. <laughs> I think it doesn't matter. I think that they have I've, stuff already pretty I've, locked in. I've played with Cam Newton in that game. <laughs> it is an awful, awful experience. <laughs> His passes go to the defenders more than they go to your receivers. <laughs> Anytime you try to, you know, run through a tackle, you fumble the ball. I mean, yeah. <laughs> now, here's all I got to say. Trubisky got released from the Bears, got picked up by the Eagles, and was the MVP. There you go. Listen, he's broken. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> or he's naggy broken. <laughs> no, if, the, if the Bears drafted Mahomes, we'd be talking about him getting cut after the year. I I mean, we wouldn't be talking about no $450 million right now, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not here to talk about real life, guys. I don't want to. <laughs> Madden is a oh. life. You need to stop hiding in your virtual worlds. <laughs> no. And face the real problems that are facing society. <laughs> Why can't I, we get a goddamn good quarter? I will say, I, I, I have been so much for sports, and I am really considering buying Madden this year. <laughs> like, at 21, just and then so I can get the free upgrade. I was, I, I was eyeballing NCAA, I'm and I was eyeballing like, NCAA on PlayStation 3. I'm like, oh, so I've it's saved, so expensive, I've saved, like, hundreds of dollars not buying food in this whole thing. Like, I can spend $100 <laughs> on a video game that's Dude, from 24. By so, expen- oh, oh by so expensive, it, it costs, like, 65 bucks. No, it's, no, like, 14 Like, on eBay? Yeah. It's, like, 100 bucks. Prices have gone up since uh, COVID. Uh, <laughs> they have gone up. Uh, w- there was a store recently that hit it for one hundred and fifty dollars. Oh my god! Which makes me so mad that I got rid of it so What's, long ago. I don't mean to. I, it, was, it was crazy. I sold it on eBay, and I got like I got like thirty bucks. I was like, yeah, I got thirty <laughs> bucks for this at the time because it was like three years later. And the crazy part is, like that last game isn't even. The good one. No, no your previous is oh, the best 13. one. Thirteen NFL oh, NCAA thirteen is that was the one. Incredible. That was the one. Which that was only sixty bucks. I say you'll buy that one. It's cheaper. It is cheaper. Not by much, but it's like it's sixty bucks. It's like the price of a full game at this point. Man. I did look into also buying the last two K college basketball. Okay. Oh geez. Hundred dollars <laughs> for that oh, one too. Two K eight. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's so crazy. Hundred dollars, and I'm just or no two K ten. I don't remember. I but think it was, I had it was some some PS three like two K like, like like nine hockey games or something. Well, those are worth nothing. Yeah, they weren't worth anything. No, those are worth nothing. Those used to be good. 2K, 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 2K hockey was 2K fantastic. Was 2K hockey was fantastic, and I, then EA. Ugh. I never liked EA. Emulated everything person. they did and improved it slightly, and 2K just they stopped trying. I think. I guess I don't they know. gave up. They just well, gave up. I, I mean, they gave they, up. Eventually, they stopped making them. But even the last couple well, were like 2K9 and 2K10. From 2K9 to 2K10 was basically like a legacy where they just updated yeah. the rosters. Right. Like, and I remember getting two. I was in game six of the Stanley Cup Finals, and every time I tried starting that game, I, pl- I actually played the entire – this is the, one of the first few, few times I played oh, the wow. entire season, okay. every single game. Every time I tried starting that la- that game six, the game would lock uh, every single time, no matter uh, what I did. I tried I, – I mean, this was 360, so this is before – you didn't install games. Yeah, right. So I tried cleaning the disc. <laughs> I This is back when I still worked at uh, – no, did I work? No, I still had connections with at Game Crazy. Or GameStop or whatever, um, but so they would do that disc buffering, and I tried that. Uh, Nothing. I was so mad. How brutal. Like, how brutal. How brutal. Yeah, it's all I've been playing. <laughs> all right. Um, well, we'll talk about Last of Us Two in a minute. Uh, I finished uh, Red Dead Two. Nice. Finished the whole epilogue. Uh, epilogue is definitely the worst part of that game, <laughs> um, just because I miss Arthur. I wanted to be Arthur. Yeah. I feel, I'm right here, man. I kind of I, I was. I missed Arthur, but um, <laughs> like I just I and and I think it was a lot more fan service for the people who played Red Dead One, and I didn't. Sure. So like I didn't really get all the the real like importance of some of the stuff that was going on and, and where I was. But what what is absolutely just batshit insane about this game is like the map is pretty big, right? You're in this game the whole time. Your map's pretty big, but in the lower left hand corner of the map is always fogged over, and you can't really get there because it's it's where you're wanted from the very beginning of the game, like it's like you're like wanted dead or alive in the very beginning. So if you're going in there, you're getting you can make it through, but like you're gonna be in some trouble. Sure. 
once you get into the epilogue, all that stuff clears away, and you can go into there, which is basically like the armadillo, which is the entire map of Red Dead 1 is in Red Dead 2 in that lower left-hand corner. The entire thing is in there. That's insane. Not a whole lot's going on in there. You can find some stuff. There's sure. some hidden stuff and things like that, but there's not really missions going on in there. Um, I mean, there's a few, and you have like a whole rival game that's just in there. That's, that's not in any other part of the game. It's just in, the, in that section. That's insane. And it's just, and you know, so I finished this, I finished this game and then I spent like four days in the YouTube rabbit hole, just looking at all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so I watched, I fight, no, I'm all the different secrets and Easter eggs and things like that from Red Dead 2. There's a, a bajillion of them. I did find a, actually a pretty good amount of them. What's really funny is like when you're playing as Arthur and going through the map and you come across something like I found a, like a tiny church. It looks, like, it looks like a tiny church. Yeah. No explanation for it. It's just kind of there. You can kind of go in. You can find some stuff in there. Uh, when you find it on the map, you Arthur takes out his his um, his journal, draws a picture of it, and puts a little note on there. Later in the game, the new character has the journal, and like he comes across things and he draws stuff and puts a little note in there, but the new character can't draw for shit. So like, Arthur can draw it. It looks really good. And then the other guys is like, it's like this weird kind of, okay, that's kind of, that's kind of close. But, um, so I, you know, I, I went there, I watched all the, there, I watched alternate endings. I watched that. I watched the entire movie cutscene smashed together of Red Dead One. So I, okay. I saw that whole story. So I got a little more of the other things yeah. going on, but man, what the death. I, before we start talking about Last of Us, like I, I'm really digging Last of Us too, but I miss Red Dead. Nice. How crazy is that? That's pretty crazy. And, and I'm like 120 hours in. Yeah. So like, that's crazy. what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna do the whole Red Dead Online thing because I think that's like literally everything I I would would hate about yes. the game would be yes. happening in there. Like, I hear it's just toxic. I just and I, I just said I've done GTA Online. Yeah. I just yeah. I, I, some of my favorite parts in Red Dead are just like kind of trotting along the trail, getting to where I'm going, like just looking at the scenery and, and things then happen. Then you get and like, from a mile away. Then all, of a sudden, right, then all of a sudden you got like 12 people on horseback coming after me and yeah. just like, you know, wearing, you know, whatever, the, all the different stuff they have. Like I, the last, like what that game does brilliantly is like the quiet moments. And like, there can't be a quiet moment in an online game. There just can't be. Like it's nope. just impossible. So yeah, Red Dead 2, I think is done for now. I still have it. I don't see myself selling it because I can see myself jumping back in and because there's still a bunch of collectibles I didn't get, a bunch of hunts I didn't sure, do, sure. Um, all kinds of stuff that is still just lingering. I finished. They said I finished 85 percent of of the game. That's pretty good though. But it's weird. Like I said, like there's like 500. Weird. There's like 500 different animals you can like view and like you can get, like you basically get like you hold down a button and you like you. you inspect them and you find out exactly what kind of animal it is. Let's say, mm-hmm. let's say like, originally let's say like rabbit. Then when you inspect them, let's say like American Jackrabbit or something like that. So I got the check mark on the checklist that I have all those done and I'm nowhere near the end of those things. I think if they're like, you got to like 200, that's good enough. You know, like <laughs> I really think they're like, yeah, that's, that's close yeah. enough. Um, but there's so much more to do in that game still and challenges to do and, and things like that. Um, I just wish I could be Arthur while I was doing it, but it is what it is. Um, that's literally it. So I played, you know, like another forty hours of Red Dead and then Last of Us Two. So that is all I got for now. Steak. Nice. It's coming in the next couple weeks. All right, here we go. Uh, just a few things. Uh, July twelfth, uh, Hyperspace is coming out for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. That is the Ubisoft Battle Royale game. Oh yeah. Uh, it's been getting a lot of hype lately. Uh, so it seems like I know this was on the wiki things. So I don't know if people if it was already announced it was gonna be on the twelfth or if it's gonna be it was supposed to be a shadow drop or whatever yeah. uh, with their <laughs> with their uh, event. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but be, be sure to tune into that Ubisoft event. If you watch it through their website when you're logged in, you will get Watch Dogs Two on, for PC for oh, free. Oh, cool. For I hope, free. I was hoping you'd say I get some kind of Rainbow Six skin or something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, you said you get a whole game, but that's okay. <laughs> I, play, I played that game. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard two is better than one. Yeah. I never played two, but I heard it was better than one. <laughs> one I got. It was like one of the first PlayStation 4 I games so I got. Pumped. And I was like walking around like, oh, cool, it's Chicago. And I just scanned a bunch of people for I like, was so, like an hour. And I was like, I don't want to do this. I was, so yeah. bu- I was so bummed <laughs> so out by boring. one. So it's like, finally, a game, an open world game in Chicago. Let's see this. And it just, it, it was the first entry in a Ubisoft franchise, exactly. which yep. is... Like proof of concept, right? Exactly. Yep. yep. Well, we'll see what Legion's all about. I guess soon. Uh, I can't believe that's a thing because it's been so like quiet. Oh, I know. Uh, July fourteenth, Death Stranding is coming out for the PC. I think about that game a lot too. I really do. You, you've had these like really long games just grabbing yeah, you lately. <laughs> the last few games I've played, <clears throat> you need you need to go play some indies or something. Dude, I've go from a I went from Red Dead to. 
to Last of Us Two. Like how I, I'm on Cloud Nine game yeah. right now. Dude. Like, it's, it's, it's really it's like I kind of look at it like man, well, this speaking is a really of, great couple months. Of Cloud Nine. <laughs> After that, once you're finished with that, you can uh, start next Friday, July 17th. You can jump into Ghost of Tsushima uh, uh, for the PS4, which is going to be another I know. 30 to 40 hour game. Still, feel, still feeling hinky about that one. Something doesn't some feel quite right. I, I, say, I, I have that one pre ordered, and I've thought about canceling it just because, <laughs> not because like I've lost all interest, but like I still have the last one sitting in front of me that I want to play sure. and haven't even started yet. And like, when am I going to have time? By the time I actually have time, the next game that I really want to play will be out. So I have, in my PlayStation, I have a playing folder, like games I'm currently playing. And I have, like, I don't know why, but I have, like, seven games in there. Because I'm not playing seven games. But I have, like, Call of Duty in there, and I have, like, you know, sure. I, have, I have Siege in there just in case. Sure, I feel right. Like, whatever it is. But when I had, I put in there right, I said, like, I think I'm going to try this right before. And then, you know, I played 120 hours, 20 hours of Red Dead. Was I, got, I have the Kentucky Red Zero game. I bought it. So I think that's I think I need to go do something completely different, and that's about as different as it can, can yeah. get. So I think I'm gonna do that one next. Yeah. Um, no, I agree. I I canceled all my editions of Ghost of Tsushima except for the all standard, of them, except for the standard. <laughs> I I decided to go because I was thinking about because I was really thinking about getting like the special edition, the one up. But I'm like, I'm like, all right, well, it comes with the steel book, and then it, and then like some stuff for the game in, in the game. Yeah. I'm like, well, I know eventually I can just get that in the game. Right. And it's just like in the steel book, it's like, well, cause I am kind of like eh, about it. Cause from what I've seen. So it's like, well, if I end up not liking it, what was the point of spending more money on it? Just to resale it then, you know what I mean? Just trade it in or, or sell, try to sell it on eBay. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, so we'll see. I'm still planning on grabbing it because it's, I, I want a samurai game. Um, but I wanted to be on a blue show, uh, <laughs> new one, but um, but but I don't know. Just from that from that last uh, state of play for it, I'm I'm worried. Like I said, when you spend that much time on like film grain yeah. and like photo mode and like that's just uh, well, <laughs> and some some hinky about it. Uh, then also on July seventeenth. Something completely different. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paper Mario, the Origami. King. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting this a thing too. Yes, like, I am super. I am super pumped for that one. So I had some points on my Amazon card, so mm. getting that for only like twenty bucks. Nice. So I'm you. excited for that one. Uh, but yeah, paper, new Paper Mario. Super excited. Should be good. Everything I've been. They showed off a couple more things, and I'm even more excited for it. Uh, your PlayStation Plus games for July. We have got uh, NBA 2K20. Rise of the Tomb Raider. So if yep. you've never played that, that is excellent. That's the second one. The right? second one. Okay. Second one. That was the best one. Mm-hmm. That was a good one. Uh, and then as a bonus game for the 10th anniversary of PlayStation Plus, Erica. Yeah. So I'm so glad I almost bought that a couple times. So I'm glad I've held off. <laughs> yeah. And like, I, you know, played the whole thing twice. Um, yeah. No, I, I liked Erica. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I mean, NBA 2K finally being as free, been free everywhere else. So why not? And then, um, or two bucks, <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah, Rise of the Tomb Raider was very good. The only thing I'll say, so. if you want to get, if you want to get, you know, 100 percent that game in the like the the epilogue, wait, no, the prologue of that game, there's a collectible in there, and there's no way to go back. Nope. And I did not know that. Yeah. And I was like, man, I'm 100 percent this game, and I got back like, no, I'm not, because <laughs> I can't, I can't get that thing. So. Yep. Uh, and then your Xbox <clears throat> games with gold for July uh, for Xbox One uh, WRC. Yeah. Eight FIA World Rally Championship you can download from July 1st through the 31st, and then Dunk Lords from July 16th through August 15th, and then uh, Xbox 360 games. Is that a game also... made by Oreo? Ooh, oh. maybe. We got time to just. If, that, if that was a false part, <laughs> that, if that was in the 80s. I mean, if, if, Ch- if Chester Cheeto and Cool Spot and all those other things Sneak can exist, King? yeah, exactly. <laughs> if all those things can exist, why not? Sneak King is still the best 360 of uh, those. Bur- those all those Burger King McKids. games. Uh, You're forgetting Mick Kids, yeah, that's sir. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, and then your Xbox 360 games are also playable on your Xbox One. Uh, from July 1st to the 15th, Saints Row 2. Oh, that's a good one. Which is excellent. Yeah. And Juju from July 16th to the 31st. Good or bad? Mm. To the Metacritic. We'll find July 16th, we'll find out. Right. No, I, no, I will not. <laughs> I guarantee you. I'm, I'm, I will not be finding that out on July 16th. I'm, I'm a good juju or bad juju. <laughs> I know, I'm aware. <laughs> I, I, Metacritic I, I, will I, tell I, you. I don't want to know. Um, and then, With uh, or without Ross. <laughs> and some games added recently to Game Pass. Uh, Soul Calibur 6. Yeah, there you go. Which I highly, highly recommend. Soul Calibur 6 is awesome. 
That was one I've looked at that so many times and didn't buy it. And oh, it's so I'm good. Get a world now. It's so good. I, that's one of the things where I put so many hours into that story mode and I got nowhere because of the way it structured. Okay. Like, it was like one of those kind of things. <laughs> it's so awesome. I got nowhere it's, in the story. <laughs> but it was, but it, that was the problem. It's like I put so many hours into it and it, I couldn't stop. Like I spent uh, oh, so much fun. Uh, observation. The dev- yeah. The, uh, digital devolver. <laughs> Which I would have waited because I said, I was like, that's fine. A lot of yeah. people loved it and I just didn't I was like, for it. free, I'll definitely give it a try. Okay. It's, 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 <clears throat> it, is, is unique, is, it is a unique experience. Has some cool things in it, um, but I just, I just didn't get it. I mean, I, sure. it just didn't click with me. Sure. Um, the Messenger, which I've been wanting to try, so I'm super pumped to try That's that. That's a good one. Yep. Uh, Street you'll, have, you'll have some old uh, NES uh, nostalgia feelings in there. Yeah, no, it, it, it looks so good. That looks, yeah, I definitely want to try that. Uh, Streets of Rogue, which looks like a rogue-like mm. uh, game. Yep. Uh, and then on uh, this week we're getting uh, Fallout seventy six. You can find you can finally try that garbage, and uh, Crosscode, which is Crosscode that a lot of people talked about. That looked cool at first. I didn't know what it was because yeah. I did not include it on the list. And then just before we recorded, I saw something on Twitter. I was like, oh, I'm gonna re- I'm gonna add that. Uh, it's like a sprite action RPG. It seems like yeah, it, and it really looks cool. really really cool. Um, so yeah, the, that's uh, that's it. The action actor. Time for the news. There's actually news. some news. So we got some news. All right, so uh, Sony announced that Spider-Man Miles Morales is a standalone game similar to Uncharted Lost Legacy. It'll be available on the PS4 and the PS5. Cool. Great. Lost Legacy is a uh, hidden gem, I think, in the place. I think it gets overlooked a lot. And it was, it's a really good game. Like, it's on par with any of the other, char- other Uncharted ones. And well, falls middle of the back of the Uncharted games for me. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's, but it's not like, whoa, that's the worst one of the yeah, yeah, or anything like that. Um, yeah, no, awesome. Yep. And it's probably going to be 40 bucks to you, I assume. I don't know. Well, I mean. well maybe PS4 not maybe. Yeah, maybe not anymore. I was like, PS4, yeah. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is delayed again <laughs> to November 19th. <laughs> um, also, you know, some hardware is coming out and mm-hmm. holiday. About that time. November period, 20th. Yeah. No, I'm sure, prediction. Like, because, well, because now, <laughs> I'm sorry, November 19th, November 19th is a Thursday. Mm. What comes out on, no game comes out on a Thursday. Right. Yeah, that's that super weird. That makes zero sense. So, because that was the thing, that was the first thing I looked up. I'm like, the 19th, what day is that? I'm like, a Thursday. So, I am convinced at least one of them is November 20th. I am very convinced. I bet it's Xbox. I, I, I agree. Because, well, why, they got that Why the 20th connection. and not the 19th? Hmm? Why the twentieth and not? The I guess 19th. it could be the nineteenth. I mean, it could be the nineteenth. Friday's like the worldwide release. Like it seems day. like that's like the release up for system. But it's so weird. It's so I weird. I feel Thursday. Like, I, said, I feel like the gross <laughs> current gen consoles came out on like a Wednesday. Both or something. Of them? Fridays. Really? Weeks Fridays. after no, each I, other. I did. I did my research um, I, before we did our prediction show. Yes. Yeah, I, 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 I remember. I remember. I called off on two Fridays. Yikes. Exactly. <laughs> I remember taking two Fridays. Oh, bad employee. Oh, I remember taking two Fridays off in a row. <laughs> yep. Exactly. I said maybe I schedule them. I probably called them off. Uh, at EA Play, they announced that Skate 4 is going to be a thing. They said the game was commented into existence. Uh, how do we get that going for college football? <sighs> there's so many. There's like I can name 40 games that are more worthy of getting brought back before a Skate 4. I, I honestly only think they did this because everyone lost their shit when Tony Hawk 1 and 2 was announced. Yeah, well, I mean. Honestly, like I kind of feel like that was like, – like they were probably like – like, like they probably told those guys, all right, start, start playing. Let's see if we can maybe make. But and then when everyone lost their shit, okay, guys, it's happening. Like, like we're doing this. But also, you know, I think EA needs a, he's one for the fans type of move. Like, you know, well, I think I think they could use a little well, fan. The, the EA play was out. not for the fans. No, it was not. <laughs> they they, they, how they we're announced Skate Four. I looked through like a recap. So I looked through a recap, but I'm like. No, I don't need to recap. This. <laughs> I, I don't have my list. Like that tells you how bad it was. I don't have a list. It, it was the EAE three presentation. Why? Why was Sims four even there? I don't know. Sims is always a there. PC release or whatever or whatever it was. Like who? Who cares? Like bunch of people play the Sims still. But right, but they, but they didn't announce. The but they didn't announce anything but new. The, yeah, I don't think, oh, but yeah, is, did they, they didn't announce anything new. Experience. Yeah, it's just like this thing. This thing still exists. Yeah, all right, cool. Like, that's like, all it was. <laughs> Remember when we gave it away for free? Like. Oh, God. Um, the only the best thing was honestly the sky, the squadrons, Star Wars. Wars squadrons. Oh yeah, that look that actually looked damn really damn good. Nerds. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna play. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna definitely play that in VR. I'll say I'll say one thing though, like all the Star Wars stuff, like it, like, it's super visually and like 
like, audibly amazing. Like yeah, oh Bat- yeah, b- both yeah. both um, Jedi Fallen Order and uh, Battlefront Two, yeah. both just like amazing for both those things. So like, let's yeah, let's yep. put your face in there. <laughs> I like it. Just shove your face. Man. <laughs> I will. What, what else you got there? <laughs> uh, Crash Bandicoot Four. It's about time has been announced. Yeah, cool. Uh, release October second on Xbox and PS Four. Uh, Microsoft just they closed Mixer, just shut it down. Yeah. My favorite part about the whole thing was the next day afterwards. One of like the main like Mixer guys was like his his feed for that day. His stream was just him filling out Twitch like forms. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Yeah. So that's like yeah. They I guess they like they didn't tell people in advance like their their no. partners like they just shut it down and like here's an email. Sorry. That's crazy. So uh. You know, yeah, people like uh, Ninja and Shroud and all the other Twitch guys they stole, they made bank. They get to keep their money that they signed for. Yep. And they can go sign somewhere else now. Well, sounds like yeah. Ninja's going to YouTube. From what I saw. I don't, I don't watch him. I mean, anything, he, but... when he left, he kind of shit all over Twitch saying he wasn't. He, I was like, he, could, he, he could never go back to he Twitch. He could absolutely go back to Twitch. <laughs> they would well, take him in a heartbeat. Well, sure. If that's they where would. the money is, he they could would. absolutely go back to Twitch. I just, I just <clears> can't <throat> imagine what that would be like his first couple chat rooms. People just giving him such a hard time. You put it, put the chat room in sub only mode, and you're good to go. Yeah. At least if people are giving you shit, they're paying you for it. That's true. That's a good point. Um. So yeah, that was a thing that happened. <laughs> That's so crazy. Which sucks because like the the little bit that I've like watched on Mixer, I actually enjoyed that experience watching on Mixer compared to Twitch. Because I tried, I watched earlier today. I watched the uh, limited run games uh, press conference on Twitch, and man, it was like I don't know something about it. Just was <laughs> like not working properly at all for me yeah. I, pretty, I pretty much only like all the stuff like all these i mean there's like a bajillion events this summer because everything is well, so right. just fractured yeah. i pretty much been watching them all through like the the youtube channel of whoever's presenting them and it's mm-hmm. been working great mm-hmm. they've all been great uh nba 2k 21 announced their well yeah, the 12 cover athletes <laughs> they announced their cover athletes uh they have damon lilliard for the current gen zion williamson for next gen they also have a Mamba Forever edition for both uh, current and next gen with uh, Kobe on the cover. Mm. I, I feel like I have to get it. Mm-hmm. Like, like I don't know about Go you guys. It. Like, no. I just want to like, no. I just like I'm, not a, like. I'm not a basketball gamer. I'm not a huge. But, like, I'm not as much as I used to be at all. But, like, the whole Mamba thing, like, with the Kobe thing, I just feel like I kind of got to get that one this year. So let's get into the fun stuff here. Uh, <sighs> next gen version is $70 for the standard edition. Um you must buy the Mamba Forever Edition for $100 if you want a free next-gen upgrade. Um, next-gen has, quote, new game features and enhanced game modes, end quote. Find out about that later. We'll never find out about that. So, <laughs> I can understand the price going up. Yes. Okay, well, okay. Hang on. There's, this is a... a it's sp- multi-tiered, sp- yes. Video games have been underpriced. You know, they haven't kept up with inflation for a decade. The, the last time games went up was... PS3. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It's been 15 years yeah. since a price yeah. of a video game has gone up. Yeah, so two generations. Yeah. Prices were due to go up. It's fine. Um, I could also see in- increasing prices if you're saying we're using uh, 4K Blu-rays to you know press these discs and, sh- and ship them. Yep. That's yep. fine. Absolutely. And the digital version should go up in price, but whatever. The, don't even, don't even put digital in your brain because it just never makes sense. It should never cost as much as it does nope. when you buy the box. Nope. There's no reason for that to ever happen. But this is what it is. retail partners is why it does. Retail partners is why that happens. It's if they price. undercut Best Buy and Amazon on physical stuff, they would not sh- store and ship their consoles and yep. hardware when they need them to. Yep. Just. I don't know. And then sell suddenly all th- sell them all through Amazon. <laughs> have Amazon have a digital storefront too. Yep. And everyone's happy. But yeah. Who do I know? What do I know? I, yeah. I, I, different tangent. <laughs> um, and then the fact that they want to charge people who don't buy the $100 edition to upgrade or buy a whole other new game, whatever their, their, their plan is. Um, yeah, that's some bullshit. <sighs> that's, I think I said in our, I don't know if it was on Twitter or text chat, I said, said a long time ago when Xbox announced smart delivery, like, we're going to find out real quick who the shitty publishers are out there. 2K, come on down. Oof. Yeah, and like it's stupid yeah. because it's like you're paying more money so you don't have to pay more and more money. Like, so like, right. it, I suppose I had buying a whole like separate thing. So you're basically buying a game and a half if you want to play it before and after. And like the thing is, like they haven't 
and this kind of will touch on the next story, but they haven't announced if like they're going to sell an upgrade pack. Right. And if I it assume. is, if it is, what's the price going to be? Is it still going to total out to a hundred dollars? Am I going to buy the original one for sixty and then forty right. more for the new, next one? Right. But yeah, you know, I don't know. The whole thing is kind of crazy to me too because it's like people are going to get the new system and not plan on it. People can get them for gifts, and right? Like right. stuff like that. So like, I bought two K twenty one, which sounds weird. I bought two K twenty one. I've been playing it on my PlayStation four. I get a PlayStation five for whatever occasion it is. So I want to keep playing that game. So like I am now forced to rebuy it again because I didn't plan ahead because I didn't, right. ha- I didn't have a plan to right. plan ahead. And, right. Like I don't know. I, I just well, I, I mean in theory, if these are these new systems are backwards compatible, like we've been told, right. you could pop your old disc in there and still get the old game experience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true. Yeah, but I mean, I, I mean that's what the, like you said like you were saying like with the smart delivery we're gonna find out who the shitty companies are because it's like. Because there's that new rumor. I don't. I don't know if you mentioned it in their news or not. But like, there's that new mo- rumor going around that like supposedly Microsoft told developers. Hey, that's my next news item. Is, is it okay? Okay. <laughs> Way sorry. to jump the gun. I'm sorry. That's what I was asking. Okay. Um, would you want to? Do you want to go into that? And you, you want to talk about that? And then we can kind of combine the two. Sure. Um, so this came out today that apparently Xbox has told developers they cannot charge players to upgrade their current gen games to Xbox Series X versions as DLC, uh, an alternative to its free smart delivery scheme. I don't know where I got this from, but scheme is the word that was used. Um, however, developers and publishers who choose not to support smart, smart delivery can still offer owners of current gen games a discount on purchasing a second next gen version of the game on the Microsoft Store. Theoretically, third party publishers could also charge for physical game upgrades via their own schemes, such as retail promotions. So yeah, so I mean, so that's, <clears throat> that's so that makes it interesting. Like another aspect well, like- of it. Like, cause it's like, so I mean, it's like, cause like, you know how your sites are saying like, okay, well if you buy the $60 Xbox one version, will there be a four, are you going to force me to buy a $40 DLC? But it sounds like Phil is like not, can't o- do it, not know. okay with that at all right. for you to do that. I don't know. It's weird because like, I mean, when you go from PS3 to PS4, that just it wasn't a thing, right? Like well, you right. said, you bought them if you wanted, if you had a, you know, Watch Dogs on PlayStation 3 and you want to play Watch Dogs on PlayStation 4, you buy, buy a whole new game. Yep. So like... But that was also before we had backwards com- backwards compatibility. Which That's was what I was going to say because yes. this this is a little bit different game now though too. So like I feel like I, I, but I mean Microsoft can't you know dictate to other companies how to run their business, but they can dictate how their platform and storefront is used. Yeah, because yes, yeah. like, that's because that's the thing because it's like if because what two K would have to do is submit that. DLC for right. forty bucks, yeah. and, and then they, get certification. And go like this, right. Right. and then it never goes on the store, and then they, they don't get that forty but the, bucks. I mean, but then also, if the alternative to that is, let's say that they did that, and two K is like, we wanted to offer an upgrade path for for a fee. Microsoft said no. The only option at this point is to buy a new full retail copy. Ugh, it's getting gross. Yeah, I mean, that, well, no, I, I, I mean that's terrible. Too. That's terrible too. But, but to, for me, that would be more on. I, that's more terrible on 2K though. Like I mean, like, like I mean, I get what you're like. I, I I can understand like both aspects of it. Like saying like, well, come on, Microsoft, let me pay right. a little bit. Let me just pay a little bit to get the upgrade or whatever. But at the same time, I respect and appreciate Phil being like, no, like, like let's let's stop doing this where you have to buy two versions of a game at at, at launch because the game at launch is never that different. Or usually it's lacking. Like Madden. Yeah, I say usually it's usually the way around. Madden the first year is right. like Terrible. way worse <laughs> right. than generation. We, we pulled before. out some features. Yeah. Here you can play we, an exhibition you game. You can play season mode. Yeah. Not franchise. Not franchise. Season. One season, right. So I I'm I'm not tuned into the two K world, but like I, I I know they have like different versions of the game already. They have like right. the standard version, they usually have like an extra version with some of the credits involved with it, and they have like a super duper version. Which I think so. I looked at this a little bit. I don't think they have a bunch of different versions this time. If you pre-order, you get a bunch of credits and extra digital content. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the only other non-standard version is the Kobe version, the right. Mam- Mamba Forever version. Right. Okay. So what what is the version of the game that you had to buy to, on the PS4 that were for PS5? The Mamba. Mamba Forever version. Okay. So you had to get like this. this you got the hundred dollar Mamba. So and and here's um, where here, here's where. I, I think like 2K could probably work around this. Mm-hmm. Is like here here's the standard edition. We also have the forty dollar upgrade to the Mamba Forever version. 
right. which includes the free upgrade right. to next gen. And you get all this other, st- you get all the Mamba stuff. Because, right. it, it, oh, yeah, it almost feels like that's their normal version of the game, and you're getting this upgrade for free then. Right. To me. If, if, I mean, if you right. want, we'll look at it from that perspective. Right. Well, like, hey, the special edition comes with a free pass to the PlayStation yep. 5 version. That's probably a better way to sell it, personally. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I, I th- yeah, I think it's, yeah, the, I agree with you. Because I, I think the part that's that's tripping everyone up is the fact that the standard version of, like, the right. old gen is 60, right. the next gen is 70, but but then it's 100 for no matter what system right. for ne- for the for the Mamba edition. Okay. I think that's what because that's what tripped me up for a second. I was like, "Well, wait a minute. Why isn't it 110? Like, right, exactly. I was like, "This doesn't make any sense. I'm so confused. Like, right. why is this the same price? Like, if I, I'm like, well, why? And then I'm thinking, I'm like, well, uh, this is what they want me to think, probably. Well, why wouldn't I just get yeah. the Mamba edition? Then at that point, like, right. you know what I mean, why wouldn't it's I just only spend thirty bucks more? Right, exactly. I might just spend the thirty bucks, and then I can play it today on my Xbox One, and then when right. we might get my Series X, I can play that day one on my Series X. Yeah. It's, uh, but I that's mean, I, I just mean, don't like I don't like that. Well, like, it's, like it's, it's like so Xbox you know did this and I'm I'm guessing they they're the ones that put this out into the Twitter sphere or the ether mm-hmm. or whatever you know they they news release this it looks good on optics for them right but there's so many ways for the game publishers to get around this oh for sure all you have to do is sell hey here's an upgrade to a special edition and you get a, a DLC and yep. you know uh, next gen upgrade right. I mean, it's one of those things like I can appreciate what Xbox is in theory trying to do if they're not just doing this for optics, but it's going to be so hard to enforce it. We have absolutely no idea how this is going to work on PlayStation either because it's right. all the smart delivery piece of this too. Well, right. So like if a game has like, you know, the 4K upgrade and all this stuff for the, for the Series X, it, it should know which version that is trying to push to you, right? Mm-hmm. On a PlayStation, we have no idea how that's going to work. So this might even get even mur- more murky when that kind of stuff comes up. Well, right, because yeah, because right now the, the only the only game that we know that 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 it's kind of like that whole smart quote unquote smart delivery on PS5 is the Avengers game. Right. That is the only game we know currently right now that will have that. And then I think they said Madden will have the uh, that yes. well no that limited option. Right. If you if it's you like, pre-order Madden, you'll get the you'll get a free upgrade. Cards. Okay. Well, see, that pisses me off too. Yeah, pre-order that doesn't. I don't like that. I don't. No, seriously. <laughs> I don't like any I don't, of this. I, 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 it's just like it, it's, well, <laughs> EA is just being ridiculous about this, regardless. Um, but but no, yeah. But that's the thing. Because like, this thing with PlayStation is just like okay. So what? So that what does that mean for Assassin's Creed? I mean, maybe we'll find out at the Ubisoft. Well, yep. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Because I mean, for me, it's like I mean, right now I'm. I've got a pre-order for Xbox anyways because I know it's smart delivery. They already said it's smart delivery, right. so I have it pre-ordered for Xbox. But if I was thinking about getting both, or if I'm a PlayStation person, maybe that doesn't. Maybe I I go. Maybe you got to maybe you got to buy the gold edition and they get the upgraded version of it, whatever it is. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just, this is like what happens when you have like an info vacuum, right? Ugh. So like these business, these other companies, like so the Sony has created this inf- information vacuum where we don't know how this is going to work at all. Right. So I'm sure Sony might have an idea what it is, but no one else does. Right. Maybe some of the partners do too. So right now, because we don't know the information, these other partners like 2K, Ubisoft, EA, what they're doing is they'll be like, well, shit, we got to get while well, they're getting this good now yep. and charge as much as we can charge in the meantime until everything gets figured out right. or whatever it is. So, I mean, they're just doing what businesses do at this For point. Sure. Not great for us, of course, yep. but like this is because of that vacuum that they had the opportunity to do these things to us, and we don't know how it's going to go. And that's I was just I was thinking in my head, I'm like, the only way for them the the smart delivery thing, you know, it's supposed to be you buy whatever you buy Cyberpunk, you're getting the 4K right. version when it comes, you know, when they eventually release that. And I was thinking for specifically the NBA 2K thing here, they're charging different prices for the next gen and the current gen. Right. So they have to be selling them as different SKUs. Correct. Which is probably why they have different cover athletes. Okay. Right. The current right. gen is Absolutely. You, the current yes. gen is you buy the Damon Lillard version. Right. The next gen's you buy the Zion Williamson version. Oh, by the way, the Zion version's not back not compatible with the old systems. Correct. And they have you, two different mom versions as well. They right, do. It's the same price. Uh, it's, well, it's the same price, yeah. But, 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 but it's they, the same price, and it has the free upgrade. But that's the thing, though. But I, that makes me wonder, like, what's because it's weird because there is two different Mamba covers. Yeah, there's there's like the like the watercolor one. Right. There's, the, there's the next gen, is the current gen, which is for P, which is for PS4 and Xbox One, and then there's the one with him like real life, and that's the Series and, and then, X PS5 one. And those are the same prices. They're the same yes. prices. 
But that's what makes me confused. It's like, well, what's the? But if it's a free upgrade, why is there two different <clears throat> covers if you're buying for a different system? And why would they, why would you need one for a four and a five? I don't know. That's wrong. That's where I mean, maybe, that is kind of confusing. Maybe that's just for more so for physical to tell them apart if you're in a store. You know, grandma's buying Johnny a video game. I but mean, she's not, she's not but able, it's a free upgrade. It's not supposed to matter. But, but I mean, I, I guess they can well, put like, well, it, it does like, if so, Johnny has a PS4 and grandma buys him the PS5 version. Like when Xbox started doing their backwards compatibility, like they re-released boxes to say like Xbox 360 games, you know, in the, in the, well, X, yeah, in, the, in, the yep. X, in the Xbox yep. one box. Yep. Like you can yep. buy like, yep. Well, Red Dead Redemption's like that. Right. It's exactly. in the Xbox one box now. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, God, why, why are we getting so confusing? It's we July. need a whiteboard. Yeah, <laughs> it's July. We still don't know when the, the oh, prices. We, we don't know anything. We don't know how this. How do I not have how these new features? <laughs> like we, need, we don't. We don't we know. We need a whiteboard, or we need a corkboard and some string. <laughs> mm, no. my are, we, are we Charlie Day doing this? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My my whole basement is full of arts and crafts. So yes. if you guys want to come on over, we can we can figure this out. I need you to steal me like thirty yards of yarn. We have that. <laughs> no need to steal. Yeah, yeah we, got we got that. Well, I, mean, I could take it. No one even notice. It's not your yarn. I mean, no one would notice. That's fine. I don't know how the inhabitants are going to feel if you uh, walk out of there with a fistful of yarn. What do you need that for? Podcast. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I need that for crafts. What do you need that for? Scheming. <laughs> All right, uh, I think that's I it, know. right? That's all you got. That's all I have for the news. That's but, plenty. But no, I agree with you. It was about it's time. a it's it a sucks, whole cluster f. But it, it's it was about we knew it was eventually going to go up. Yeah, prices. no, the, it yeah, sucks, yeah, but it's a. And, I will be a little more selective with my games going well, forward. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll call the discount. Ones <laughs> are gone too. All the well, G's that's game, the thing. Game club are locked. All and those are all gone. We were, I was talking about that with my buddy. That he's wonders if that's why they knew that was coming. Like obviously retailers would would know earlier, and that's why they made sure that everyone would be out of GCU by the time like that. Yeah, and out. I mean it totally makes it's it's a perfect like breaking point. Sure. Like, new new generations come out. All right, yep. new prices. I mean, like for just and the whole pricing thing and saying it's just long overdue. Like. Honestly, if they charge me ninety bucks and give me like the season pass or whatever, but all the DLC was available on launch day, I'd be all about it. Yep. Yep. Agreed. It's uh, the, the thing that kills me with DLC. Game. Right. The thing that kills me with DLC is like, cool. I got the season pass. Now I got to wait three months, and I'm gonna power through this game in like ten days. I have definitely bought some season passes I've never used. Yep. Well, it's like Border- Absolutely. Borderlands Three. I love that game, and it was just oh, I played Borderlands Three recently. <laughs> Rewind. Yeah. yeah, start over. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's go. Let's go back about forty minutes. <laughs> like they've released two or three of the DLCs for the the season pass, yeah. and like I just played one for the first time the other day. I don't know when I'm gonna get back to it. If that was out when I first played through the game, I would have played through all of them. Mm-hmm. Well, that's like uh, South Park: A Fracture But Whole. Yeah, I never played the DLC because I was already d- I finished that game in the first couple weeks it came out, yeah. and I was done with it. Right, like, I, they, I moved on. I'm like, I keep forgetting that there's one more controlled DLC coming out. There's oh, one yeah. more expansion that's coming right. out. And that's gonna be well, supposedly gonna like tie in with Alan Wake. Like, I'm super interested in that, but, but like, it, I keep forgetting it's a thing. Right, it's just I just yeah I just I'm, I'm with you. Like, if, if you're giving me the complete game like right there. And right. there, I'm all for. I agree. I am all for yeah. it. But there's so it's very rare for me to go back to a game. Yeah. And the one time I did do it was with Spider Man. Great for episode one. Ew. Not so great after that. <laughs> yeah. Like and that and that kind of turned me off from DLC going forward. Yeah, I'll tell you this though too. Like if Red Dead Redemption Three was announced right now for PlayStation Five, and they tell me it's a hundred dollars, I pay <laughs> no problem. So like I think also it, it, it's a matter of. What's it, knowing what you're getting? Oh, so, so like, the game. give me a new franchise for hundred dollars. Like, I don't know. About, like, it goes to Tsushima. Like, for sixty dollars, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, spoiler free, right? I assume talk. I haven't gotten me super far, but no, no, it's fine. no, no, no. I want, no. I want to. I'm hoping that we get a chance to no, d- I dive love, deeper into it later on. Yeah, I was, I would love I, to do a spoiler cast eventually. Because I have some real serious things I want to say about this game that yeah. I can't talk about right now. No. Um, but vague answer. I know I'm further than you. So, vague answer. Uh, where, Are you? You're never on playing. I know. I've been, <laughs> I've been, sh- I've been shadow dropping on the PlayStation 4 for two months. I was telling before we started. Like, I've been playing like a, a pure... Mike's, Mike's crawling in the weeds. I've been playing, I've been playing like... I've been, I, I just realized I've been appearing offline for like two months. And I just... I put all of Red Dead and no one knows. Um, so, v- vague answer. Where, where, where are you at right now? 
a little into Seattle day two. Okay, I'm way past you. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, I think, that's what I figured. Because okay. I am about, I think, what it was my time? About na- almost nine and a half hours. Okay. I am uh, I'm probably about double. Okay. At this point, so okay. I, th- I feel like I'm getting close to the end. Yeah, because everyone says it's about 22 to, 20 to 30. Between 22 and 30 has been since be the average. But I really like one one thing I love about this game is I am I crawl through every environment. Like oh, I am not yes. not only because a because yes. scavenging is very important. Yes, but I want to get that note. I want to find the the safe. I want to find the code for the safe. I want to yep. find all these things in the yep. game. And God knows what you're going to come across when you're when you're going about it. Yep. But there's um, one thing I think I should have found already, and I have not found any yet. The the oh coins. the manuals, the coins. Oh, I have not found a single coin. Okay, yet. hold on. Okay, <laughs> okay. You looked at the trophy. You looked at the trophies, didn't you? Well, yeah. I okay. Love it. <laughs> well, well, and also, you know, you know the way Facebook and Twitter is. I know. It's like shit everywhere. I saw everything. I know. I saw. Like, I turned. I, I muted. But when when the when the when the, when the, the leak came out on Twitter, I, I muted everything that could yeah. possibly involve with Last of Us. Then the game comes out, and people are just posting screenshots. I'm like, what the? Fuck? Oh, I can't well, that, block that. I know. Well, see, so 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 what I did is I I was I would post. On Twitter, mm-hmm. just so I can download the, the images and then delete my post, like because 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 like, PlayStation that's the easiest way to share mm-hmm. and like get them like on my phone because like I eventually I'm gonna have like some I wanted to do something with them, but uh, but no I, but yeah but it's the thing it's just like because even when all the leaks came out because you know, this is back before I finished the first Last of Us there was a couple things I did read yeah and I've already seen okay and have just and have experience from what was the leak and. I don't understand. Like, it's like, I understand people going crazy at the same time. And I'm like, eh. Yeah. Like, eh. <laughs> like God, it's so hard to be vague with. I know. There's one thing in particular. It's very hard to be vague about. So, like, I guess like, let's talk about the, the mechanics of the game. Yeah. So, like, I mean, it's very reminiscent. Uh, I mean, if you played, uh, you know, Uncharted, if you played, uh, if you played the, the previous Any last about. Naughty Dog game. Naughty Dog, yeah. Generation. It's still meh controls. There, I, it took me a while to remember how hard it is to shoot things in this game. Oh, Jesus. And like with bullets being so scarce, I'm like, I really got to make sure I'm like, <laughs> I got to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm doing these things. Sometimes you just don't have that option. But you know what though? But I will, I will give this game credit. I feel like this game recognizes headshots way better than the first game. They're did. very effective. Yes. Um, they, because the first game I would be, I, I know I did a clear headshot <laughs> and these things would not go down. And like, not, not only that, like I feel like the, um, having, there was there's a lot more to stun enemies in this game, and I feel like I'm doing a lot more melee in this game than I did previously yes. because in in Last of Us One you had to, you had to create the shivs and that was like how you did that. Yep. Ellie has a knife, so yep. I can just use it over and over and over yep. and over and over again, um, and not really have any issues with it. So like that has been like kind of an improvement for me in terms of just like I enjoy that better. Yes. I'm just like just one less thing to manage and just like. It's hard enough to find enough bullets to take all these things down to begin with by having well, one more weapon that is like. I have no problems finding bullets when I don't need them, dude. I either I'm either fully, that I'm like fully stocked or just completely empty. Yep, I am nowhere too. in between. That makes <laughs> that makes me mad. It's weird. Like we, I, the very first thing I thought of when I had that re- revelation was Resident Evil Two remake, where I felt like oh, I had the exact Jesus. amount of bullets yep. I always needed yep. all the time, and no no more than I needed, no less than what I needed, but the exact amount I needed all the time. So I, I feel like. When you get a little bit later in the game, you have some different options for ammo and things like that, okay. which are going to help you out. Uh, but also, that's also eating away your resources that mm-hmm. are important mm-hmm. for making health packs and, and other things along the way. Um, there's a lot of crafting in this game, just like the previous games. You're making your health packs. You're making uh, trip mines. You're making the smoke bombs. You're making all these type of things. Yep. Um, all very imperative to get to where you're going. But um, the-, the upgrades, I'm a little meh about. Because the last game, you could do whatever upgrade you wanted at whatever time you wanted. Where this is more of like remember. a skill tree. Oh, you know, but you no. know, you played as more than I have. Right. So. Well, I was more recently. Yeah, it's fresh. Yeah, yeah right, right. Most of us is fresh in my mind because you know, like the last, the first one was like you had the various skills and they had different levels and you could upgrade whichever it, okay, skill you okay, wanted. Okay, okay, right. Okay, okay, so, yeah. but you, but you could still up. You could still just grab whatever. The it was skill like you got. It was, it was like, like you had a health, health, stealth, exactly. whatever. And you, it was you, just you an start off one. Of that. You, you can you. go up to health four before upgrading anything else. I got you. Exactly. I got you. Where this one is more of a skill tree. Right. Where it's like, okay, no, here's you have to follow the tree. You can't just. Pick what you want, and it's a good point too. I didn't really think of it like I, I, I was. I know I recognize it as a tree, but what I didn't recognize is like they're kind of like vague similarities in that tree. Whereas it's yes. like, yeah. it's, it's like your 
you know, you have that sense where you press R1 and you can go into like listening mode right. and you can kind of find the shadows of right. the different people in the areas that kind of like, you know, stealth around yep. or whatever. So like to improve that skill is in the same tree as like improving your health and the and same tree as improving your health packs. And Just everything, like, exactly. And see, and that's, and that's the part that I kind of don't care for yeah. because in the first game, honestly, I barely use that. So, and even in this game now, like there's been a, maybe a couple times where I yeah. absolutely felt like I needed to use it, but I didn't want to, or it just, I, it's just like, no, I'll just creep around. I'll eventually find it, whatever. But so it's like, it sucks. that it's like, Oh, well, yeah, I want my health to be better, right. but I gotta go through this level yeah. to like of, of this, of my hearing. I don't give a fuck about my <laughs> hearing. I, I care. I'm barely getting any health. I need more health yeah. for my health packs. <laughs> I'm walking past all these health packs. Cause I'm full. <laughs> You're right. If I had two more blocks of health. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, yeah, you're definitely so, planning. You're definitely planning ahead on like I want to do the fourth one, so I have to do number one, two, and three to get that fourth one. Um, I did. I did finish one of them already because it was like I want that last one. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? I don't. I'm ignoring everything. I'm, I'm going through. I'm, the more health. Yep, that's yep, exactly what I did. Much. I think that's what it was. I think it was the health one. But um, especially after the first time I died. Yeah, I've only really had a couple of choke points so far where I've just only like I, I've I've really only had to like I, redo one thing a couple four times, and literally the, one of them was just like, all right, I'm gonna try to do it this way. It didn't work. Well, if I maybe do it a little bit differently, the the same way it didn't work in third time. Well, maybe I just got unlucky. Did the same. Way. No, I'm just an idiot. I need to try it a different way, and then it finally worked <laughs> out. Um, but like, I'm not. I feel like I died a lot more in one. Uh, yes. So so I am playing it on easy for two as well because I thought easy on. One was extremely difficult, actually. Um, so I play. I'm playing it on easy again. I don't care. Um, but uh, but this one, I actually feel like it's kind of really easy. Like not really easy, but like because I have died a couple times. Yeah. yeah. Um, but but like before, like so in in the first Last of Us, I had the hardest time being stealthy. Very difficult time, mm-hmm. even on easy, being stealthy. This one. If I want to be stealthy, I can be stealthy. Like okay. I've had, I've had very. There's only been a few parts where I, I had difficulties, and that's times where I, where I die because yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to be. And then so then I'm like, okay, I have difficulties there, so I'm just gonna go Rambo now. Yeah. But like, but there's been plenty of times where I can go stealthy and clear out everyone without being discovered once. Yeah, it's like I, I we obviously we play kind of similarly too. So it's <laughs> like I, I you know there's ever I always clear wherever area I'm in. I kill everything oh, in those me rooms. Too. Me too. Um, you don't need, I always feel like, and after what I realized, I didn't need, I didn't need to do that. Like there was like 12 different paths for me to go around it, but that's way more difficult, honestly. But there was like once or twice where I did like completely avoid. Cause I was like, I don't know. I'm not dealing with this. I need to get out. <laughs> but for me, my main motivation is like, I want to find everything in this room. And I, I can't, yeah. I can't do that if there's, if they're crawling right. with things. Right. I can't do that if they're alive. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So I, exactly. Um, yeah question yeah. you, you said you're playing on easy i think you said we play i play normal. normal i play normal yeah. uh can you toggle the difficulty during the mid game i believe i so. believe so okay. i think there wasn't a, there wasn't a, i remember when we started the game there wasn't alert being like this is your playthrough right like, no no I, i'm pretty positive well the, the reason i was wondering i was like i'll probably start playing on normal but really all i care about is getting through the game and getting the story so if, exactly. I, if i hit a point where it's a pain in the ass i'll just drop down the easy but if i can't change that I'm probably gonna just yeah. gonna start off on easy and make sure I can get through it. Yeah, right. Well, I, there's, there's even baby mode on top of this. There's, there's well. a very easy. Which mode I was like, as well. all right, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna go that far. Like, <laughs> you, you you look at the clickers and they just die. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, honestly, like I said, in the first the first clicker that you come across when you're playing the first oh game my God. killed me so many times. Oh, yeah, and I didn't. Have, I had no problem with it with the, in this game. No. Um, oh, that scene was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in the second one. Oh my God. Oh my God. That very was cool. so cool. Yeah. So. The way they do it. Oh, that was so cool. There's so many. Oh, so there's a lot of, all right, let's, I guess let's talk about the, the, the story proper. So, you know, you, you go in, in this one, again, how are you going to talk about this? I only want to talk about I know it. What you're talk, I, I think I know what you're thinking about. So like the main, the main thing is it's like, in, you know, in the first one, you're going across the country. You're going right. from, you're trying to get to, I think Seattle was the main portion of the first game too, wasn't it? Or was it Washington? I guess Seattle is Washington. Where was the Firefly headquarters? Was that Seattle? God, I'm. I'm, I'm it's close. I, I just it's somewhere, it's it. somewhere in the Pacific it, Northwest. I mean, it's through. It's west. Right. It's definitely west. So yeah. in this game, is almost you, you spend most of it in Seattle proper. Right. So like you're you're in this. You kind of have like a little bit of a hub of of operations, and yeah. you're trying to, um, you're basically trying to go through. Um, do different missions, and right. one mission is going to bring you this way, and one mission is going to bring you this way, and you kind of keep going back to that main spot. This is 
details I can get without giving away some stuff. Yep. Um, I I was right behind Salt Lake City. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's right. I was thinking, I'm like, why that's is Utah right. sticking out yeah, my yeah, head? Yeah, 100%. Yep, you're right. Yep. I don't think Utah's Pacific Northwest. I was close. No, it's, <laughs> it's not Pacific. It's not Northwest. It is it's west. West. It's west. Just West. Anyway. That's not in the map. Anyway. So here's, here's something I'll, I'm going to say about the story right off the bat. I mean, it's it's very good. I'm not liking the way it's being told to me. And I don't think you're going to, I don't think you've felt that yet. No, uh, I, I, I've got a couple glimpses there, of that. There's a big turn that's going to okay. come up to you in a couple chapters from where uh, you're at right okay. now. And, and I felt, I feel like something was, and that's I, all I'm saying. <laughs> because, because just, just because of the way the first one went, I, I, I was already starting to kind of feel that I'm like, cause I, I'm, I'm trying to remember where I left off, but like from what I'm doing right now, I'm like, Okay, something's, you know how like like the first game like something's going it's going too smooth for a mm-hmm, while or mm-hmm, you're just cruising along mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden boom like I'm I'm at that point now okay. where I'm like okay I feel like I'm cruising along a little too much right now something's got to happen soon, um so and but yeah but so far I'm okay with the way the story is yeah I I I, I can't judge you yet obviously because I didn't finish it yet so well, maybe so. there's like a there's a rhyme to the reason reasons a rhyme I don't know how that works. <laughs> Got a rocket run, okay. but um, yeah, like this tricky. It's tricky. <laughs> this is something that I'm it's just like. Tricky. I just, I just, like, there's. I, I thought there were because they're already. God, I can't talk about anything I want to talk about. Right now. <laughs> I, I love like, the vagueness that you guys are talking with. I just, Our, we are doing. This I for appreciate you. it so much. Yeah, this. I can no, leave. I can no, leave. No, 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 no. I offered to no, leave. No, we're not, no, not going to no, talk too much no, more about because that. There's only a couple more because things. Because to talk about. honestly, like. You, it's one of these. It's one of those things where you can't even talk about the slightest thing without it be, kind of being a spoiler. Yeah. Like you really can't. I'll, I'll say. I'll say what I was saying. But I think that there is a different way to tell this story that would have been more compelling. Sure. That's all I'm going to say okay. right now, and okay. I can get into detail once we can do it. Okay. If, if we can get a chance to do a spoiler cast and things like that. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. But the couple of things I want to talk about most. One is how just stupidly gorgeous the game is, in everything it does. So like even like there's things in the environment that I think they're only going to show up once in the environment and it's like that's exactly where it should be and it looks amazing <laughs> right. and I will never see another one of those as we go through the game again. Um, the faces are crazy like detailed and emotional and you can really tell. Um, I mean the acting in it is is really impeccable. Um, so like, the production value wise is off the charts. Absolutely, I I agree. Um, when I first started the game, I was kind of like, where are these visuals that I've been seeing though? Mm. Because at first I was like, ah, I don't know. Like this doesn't look much better than the last of us remastered. I just played, which was a PS three game. Mm. Like, I mean, like it was remastered, huh? It was remastered. Remastered. Yeah. Well, well, it was remastered, <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, but 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 I mean, but you know, but we know how those rem- it's not a remake. It's it, remastered. Yeah, right. It doesn't so, look beautiful until you see drafts. Well, well, true, true. Um, but but then I forget what point it was. I think it actually was the very first clicker, mm. and I'm like, yes, yeah. like, <laughs> I was like, okay, 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 this looks good. Yeah, this it, looks really good. And then you got to the part where you're you're on you're on a horse and it's snowing and there's snow all over snow particles on the horse and you're like, oh my god, you. You brush by, you know, they had like the ferns, like these big trees, and yes. like you brush by them, and like the snow falls off yep. them. And as it oh, goes back, it's like, just like that. Okay, I was it's like, insane. From that point on, I was like, okay, I I see yeah. how I get, and then like, and then as you go through certain aspects, I was like, wow, yes. wow, like I was like, okay, this is super pleasing. And then in terms of the way the story is being told right now, it's funny because like even though I'm playing these areas in between. I feel like I'm watching a movie at times. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like it's super cinematic. Mm-hmm. Like the most, like before that, what was, what was the, oh, Metal Gear Solid 4, you mm. know, how everyone's always like, that is like somatic. Like yeah. that game is just pure somatic. This game is pure somatic, but with way more gameplay. Like it's crazy the way that works. Like the way they, the way, the way they transfer back and forth. Like, you know, they, they it's seamless. It's, it's really unbelievable. It's how, crazy. How, how they can just like, why can't we get to this point in a generation earlier in a <laughs> well, generation? People know. Time. 
takes time. I know it takes time. People I, learn. I, no, I know. But it's, it's like, it, well, it's like the first last of us on PS3. Well, like, everyone's like, if you look at the first, yeah, the first last of us on PS3, it's like, compared to everything else on PS3, nothing even come, came close to that. Yeah. We're at that point again with last of us too. So, question for you. Yeah. You guys with a, you have a pro, right? Yeah. Pro? Yeah. Yeah. How's your fan sounding while you're playing this? Loud as hell. Mine's not bad. Mine might be you, newer you, than you yours. You have a newer yeah. pro, though. And I've had mine first and slow mine's not in a very good ventilated uh, area either. Well, so here's the reason I'm asking. Because if you remember, well, you probably don't know because you never played it. You played it on PS3. When Last of Us came out mm. on PS3, it, your fan would spin like crazy. Like, oh, no, I it, played the... I did, yeah. Okay. It drove oh, yeah. that hardware as hard as oh, it could yeah. possibly drive yes, it. it. And I think like to get to that point, you have to... like There has to have been... A generation worth of people like picking at this and figuring True. out how they can get every little bit of performance out of that hardware, every, and every not, trick, and not push it too far. No, that and, makes and, sense. and that's I think that's why it's not until the end of a gener- end of a console life why we get, get these you know games. It's can you like thinking about that like that aspect like can you imagine with an end of the next gen it, I, like Jesus <laughs> right when, when the first last Jesus. came out I was going to imagine with the end of this generation no, I know right. like I know. It's incredible. It's kind of funny that we're, it, we're ending it with Last of Us again. Yeah, like, no. pretty much. It's, 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 it's like I don't perfect. Because like, I don't think Ghost of Tsushima, like, it's going to look pretty, but not this pretty. No. Like, I don't think. But just like, I talked about the face animations earlier, but just like, you can see like, you know, lip biting. And like, yeah. it's like, just like, like mannerism. Just It's just so human. It's, 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 it's really remarkable. You know what they're feeling. Like, yeah. Just from what they see. Like, it, it's like what Ellie and your wanted to do. <laughs> But now they can do it. But, but instead, they, instead of Eleanor, you do these drastic split-second changes. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Uh, second thing I want to talk about is the sound design in the game, too. Um, I mean, it does the whole, like, that. I mean, the surround sound is amazing, per usual. But just, like, the choices that they're making when you're fighting people, it's really... It, it, it sets a tone in that game that's very different, I think, from the first one, where, like, if I... If I'm... If I shoot... A human being, another human being off the side, be like John, just like that, just like John. No, like they, they, they all have names. They all have personalities. Mm. They all act a little bit differently. And you kill John. They don't die quickly either. If I, if I mean headshots, well, you know, yeah. whatever. But if if I put a couple, if I put like three or four rounds in them and they go down, like they die slowly Girl. on the ground. They're Girl. yelling at you. Yep. And the, and you hear someone else in the distance but, being like, they got you know, they got John, John, John. No, no, no. Like just like that's a pretty cool detail because usually in a game it's like. You know, you could shoot someone a couple of times and it might stagger them. Yeah. Right. And there'll be some bleeding, but it seems, you know, it's a video, it's a video final... game. It's a video game. So they, they, they might recover, but it's like you'll shoot them a couple of times, they'll stagger them. But the second you put that last one, they just drop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like blood pools differently yep. underneath and like yep. flows in the correct direction of where it would be. Like it's, yep. it's, it's it, when you like really like stop and like try to find the seams, it's really impressive. I will not say that about the actual like locomotion animations though. There's some times that look just super funky, super clunky, and like running and jumping. For some reason, oh, oh. is it R one is run or L one? No, L one is run. I think right. Oh, what was it? What is it? Well, I pressed X a five thousand times because I, <laughs> I, I also because I just played Red Dead Two, which well, is X is running. <laughs> right. So I'm just like constantly Most just like games. It, it's X. and L one, L one is L one, L one is running. Yes, and like I've jumped and just looked like a spaz uh-huh. so many times just because I'm just trying to run. Well, but like running, jump, jumping is very awkward. Jumping in that is game. super awkward, <laughs> and like when you like change direction too, like you can see like when you have like a compa- your companion character with you, like sometimes they just look kind of funky, loop moving around. Yep. I mean, but again, I am super nitpicking on this, like you know, this, oh, this beautiful thing. But like, sure. it's just like, yeah, er, very early in the game, like that just looks kind of just it just looks clunky. Is the only way to describe it. And it's just like you're gonna spend so much time and all this other stuff, you know. Right. It's just like I feel like smooth locomotion would have been one of those things that would have been like a fine way to be addressed. Like every time I move, like by something, my hands touching it and moving by, and all right. these, these dynamic things are happening. And then you know. You move the camera one way, and it's like you know you, you guys look uh, fun, funky off to the side. Like it's just yeah. like it's, it just doesn't look natural. And in, in, in a world and in, in an animation that is just so lifelike, the, the, it's just it's just there's like a weird 
off-putting feeling with the the motion animations. Well, they, well, because they spent all that time on the rope physics. Well, the which rope is physics, amazing, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, art, rope physics, physics as a whole is crazy. Art, rope well, physics. Physics, physics as a whole, but rope physics, rope yeah, physics? Rope, rope, physics. Rope. rope, rope physics, rope physics. When you play, you will understand. <laughs> it is incredible. It like I like. Crazy, like everything like stupid crazy. <laughs> I mean, everything moves exactly like you think it should well, yeah. move, and like, and the rope is no different. So, yeah. like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's um, I'm dying to get to the end of it because I really want to. I want. I want to have my concerns about the story fixed by the end. Just see, because I, I, I see, and now, and now, and now that's and that's the thing too. And I think this is why I've been a little slower. I actually have. I haven't played it in a few days, mm-hmm. um, and, and and I'm hitting that point that I hit in the first Last of Us again now, where I feel like I am just doing the same shit, like in terms of gameplay, over and over. So it's like I've hit a point where I'm like, all right. I just want to get through this story now. Like, and that's kind of how it was with the last of us. Yeah. And that's what I suffered through the last of us. Not suffer, but like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. but I mean, but like I was have there was points where like I was struggling there was, and like, there, stuff. There, there's grindy parts. Exactly. And I, I feel like I've kind of hit this point in this game right now where I'm like, okay, yes, there's some cool stuff that happens, but now it's like, Oh great. New area. Okay. I got to take out all these enemies. Great. I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes creeping around and taking out these enemies. All right. They're gone. Great. Now I'm going to spend another 10 minutes looting everything now that they're all gone. <laughs> now I can finally progress. So there was a half hour wasted. Right. Like, it's almost like, like, I don't know. I, like, I don't know. It, it sucks. It's like, it sounds like I want to make it like a walking sim, but I don't. But I don't know. I just, I need a little change up. Give it a couple chapters. Okay. Um, like, I, you know, that's what everyone will keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true, it's though. Right. So we told you about the first one. I know. But we, then, and we were right about the first one. Well, not until the end. But <laughs> not until not until we hit the point where Ellie was stamping the shit out of David. <laughs> Blood was going everywhere. Um, I got to man. Is do you feel like the game is too violent for you? I, I just going based. I'm just curious because I'm just what everyone's been saying. As an I'm adult male, is the game too violent for you? Yeah, seriously, no. Yeah. Let's, uh, talk about, let's talk about your time with manhunt. Okay. <laughs> I like I, this. I, I, like the, I like the I like the squish sound it makes when I impale a man. No, it's like <laughs> 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 no, it's not. And because I, I think it's it's not like it's not over the top, which no. sounds crazy. I agree, though. Because I it, agree. Because it, I mean, it is violent. Sure, it is. It is. I mean, it's, it's, it's gory. The first one. Yeah, it's gory. Absolutely. But I don't think it's like. It's not like Mortal Kombat. No. no, no so it, it's. No. That's why I, I didn't understand like the reviews and what other and a lot of people were saying because a lot of people were saying like oh the the overwhelming violence is like kind of brings down the tone of like like <laughs> over, blah 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 and it's just like for me I'm just like this. Is, I, like you said, it's not Mortal Kombat at all. And I was more disturbed by the people crying in the ground, being like when it being shot, and I was like across the map, and right. I couldn't see what I was, what I did. I know I shot them, <laughs> but I didn't know how bad it was until you right. know they're like and they're like they're screaming and, and writhing on the ground until yeah. they die. So that was more disturbing to me than the actual like right. the the any, any kind of gore or anything like yep. that. Agreed. Even that is just like not disturbing. It's just like that's a really cool like, way to whoo. be like yeah. That's a really to me that's like that's a really cool way to you know. To project to me was happening with this character, yep. you know what yep. I mean? Agreed. So like, Agreed. It, it didn't, re- it didn't really. No, to answer no. your question, the answer is good. <laughs> no, that's good. No, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that because I, I felt the same. I thought I was missing something, honestly, with the, with the reviews. No, um, I think that's all I can really talk about. Now. <sighs> Are there any other questions before you jump in? I'll say yeah. Like, I'll say yeah. You got think of anything you should like, know before you jump in? No, because I know you don't want to know much. And it's 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 very difficult. It's one of those games where it's very difficult to be vague. Well, yeah, the main the main crux of this thing is like the story, right? And like there's yeah. there's things in the story I really really want to talk about right now, but yes. I'm not going to do it to you guys. I'm not going to do it to you. I'll leave. I don't give a shit. No, 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 no. So we'll we'll keep no, we'll finish because 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 I mean because even up to my point, there's only so much we can talk about. Right. I mean, there's some good stuff that's happened, but there's. I'm, probably, I'm sure there's plenty more where you're at right now, like you're saying, like with your twist. I haven't even hit the twist yet it, or anything. <laughs> God, so, it's, oh my God. Because I know everyone talks about the twist. Because I, I see headlines. <gasps> I see, I've seen headlines everywhere about, yeah. about this. Well, we'll keep it vague. So, next time. Oh, what, what, what's the date today? Today is the 8th. 
Well, the next one is going to be a very packed episode. Well, we're probably going to. Well, we, when's the Microsoft thing again? The twenty third. Twenty third. Okay. Because so, that's going to be. That's actually like the the week. Two weeks from now would be the twenty second. So yeah. It's, okay. It's, so so we'll probably do it a week late again, <clears throat> just so we can talk about the Xbox event. We'll, we'll probably be done by the light with the Last of Us okay. by then. Hey, three weeks to knock that out. Okay. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, you got this. Because I'm. Yeah, I was gonna say because I already know Friday night. It's time, it's time for the kid to grow up. That's all I can say. Yeah. We'll hit that squish sound I love so much. But um, yeah, I didn't grow up when I steal all his Legos when I go home. <laughs> never, mind, n- never mind Ellie's, you know, mouth either. Ah, she's fine. She's. I, lo- I love it. I love she's. It. No, but it's so natural. I'm sure. I feel like I she. Mean, she like, swears <laughs> less than this one. She's in the first one. I, I agree. So, so far, yes. I'm sure I he's agree. heard me say worse playing video games. <laughs> no, I, I definitely agree with you on that. But but for her, it's so natural. Like it just like it's not. It doesn't feel like it's forced, anyways. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's not there for shock value. It just exactly. sounds like the way right. she talks. Exactly. <laughs> Oh God! Okay, I gotta stop talking before I say something I shouldn't say. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I think we'll, we'll hopefully ha- have a wrap up of Last so, of Us. We're definitely gonna talk about the Xbox first party event, which yeah. just got announced a few days ago too. We'll talk about the Ubisoft event. Ubisoft event. So yeah, we'll have a quiet. God knows what the about. frick else is going on in that. Yeah. But I'm sure there's gonna be some summer, summer games, summer of games. We'll thing. see if uh, Alpha will do another report or something. Sony shit. tries to do something to uh, outshine Microsoft. I was, well, I, I was rumor th- has it that. Release date, price, and pre-orders are going up before the pl- the Xbox event. Right Interesting. Now. They should just do it right as the event starts. What's really funny when they had the, when they had the PlayStation Five reveal event. Like I saw more Microsoft ads on Twitter. Oh, me too. During like in that like two three day yep. time period than yep. any other time I've seen something like that, which is you know. And the fun, Facebook, fun, especially oh, yeah. on Facebook, I, it was all over. That's fun stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I mean, hopefully we'll have some big news about next come up. But at least we'll have you know we have some good, some stuff to talk about. For sure, with Microsoft for first party, which is huge. And we talked about all this last time. This is it. This is this is the event that we compare the PlayStation event to. This is it. Like this oh, is seriously yeah. it. This is like that other Xbox thing was not it. This is it. Like <laughs> they got, this is it. <laughs> I mean, they got so many games been rumored. They have so many studios working on stuff. Like this, they, they, they're, they're, this is this is their you know this is their main event. This has to be great. Did you see? Did you guys see the Twitter? I did. I did. <sighs> I'm okay with both those. Oh my god! What? Please both. They made. They made. T- there's been two Twitter accounts. They only have one follower. Only one follower who is I think Microsoft exec of some yeah. some some sort, and yeah. one of them's for Fable game. One of them's for Perfect, Perfect Dark. Dark game. So, I mean, those are two things been rumored forever. So it would make a lot of sense if people maybe people will comment a Fable game into existence. Well, but, I mean, Fable just makes sense. Like, God, that was just stupid not to have one. Of these was, I mean, to me, I mean, the Xbox to me, cause I'm not a big Halo fan, is Gears, and it was Fable. Sure. And I've gotten my Gears. Right. I miss my Fable. Yeah. So, like, that's going to be a huge, I mean, be for, nice. personally, for me, that's going to be a big deal. Yeah, having that back. And then, uh, it's like my buddy, he makes a good point. He's like, you know, you got Halo, it's like your standard Halo, blah, 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 but make Perfect Dark your tech demo. Mm. Like, like, make that, like, like, you go ball like like because there hasn't been a perfect dark since the 360 game and right. even that one was terrible. So like I, that was at launch of 360 and it was terrible. Right. But so you make this one be your tech. Like, I want to talk about go all you out. Know, what, what, I, I, I don't, perfect dark is very unique because I don't know you know to like a, what other first person shooters like that. Like it's kind of like this weird like it futuristic was very, espionage. The six, yeah. Like the 64 game was so unique. Mm-hmm. Like it was so good. Mm-hmm. And then like the 360 one was just such a disappointment. I'll plan to talk about it next time. Yes. See you soon, guys.